Jen, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekend prep video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am a full-time working mom and I have two kids and in these types of videos, I just like to share you what I get done on the weekends to prepare for the upcoming work week. So a lot of times that's cooking, cleaning, basically just anything that we need to get done that we can't get done during the week. So today is Saturday morning. It's about 8.30. We just got up a little bit ago. It is also the 4th of July, so happy 4th of July if you are in the States. Uh, we are going to smoke a brisket today, and by we, I mean my husband Adam. <laughs> So he is getting ready to trim that and get that ready for the smoker now. It's going to take all day. I'm also going to make some other food. I have a whole list I'll show you here in a little bit. I also have some things to get done around the house. But first, I actually tried to vlog yesterday, but it was sort of an incomplete video. I had yesterday off. Yesterday was Friday. And um, here in the States, since the actual holiday falls on a Saturday, a lot of people get Friday off as the observed holiday. Anyway, I did try and vlog yesterday. I don't think that I did like a very complete job of vlogging my whole day, but I'm not, I don't wanna get rid of all that footage. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna rewind to yesterday morning. I'm gonna show you what I did yesterday on Friday and then I'll meet you back here in a few minutes to share with you what I'm planning on getting done this weekend. Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. I thought I would take you along with me today on my day off. Today is Friday, uh, July 3rd. Right now I'm in the drive-thru at Starbucks. I wanted to come and get um, an iced latte. And so that is what I'm doing right now. It is 8.15 in the morning and I'm not quite sure what I wanna get done today. I know that I need to do some things around the house. I know that I'm making pork chops for dinner. I know I need to get a video uh, edited and posted. You can come along with me today and see uh, what we can get done on this day off. All right, so it's 9.30 and I am home. We actually just had the um, dance team come over. They do a fundraiser every year where they will paint an M in your driveway for the high school mascot, whatever. And we've always wanted one and we've never been able to get one. And so now I saw something on Facebook about it. And so they came over and painted our M and uh, the kids are outside inspecting their job, pulling weeds just a second. So I told the kids that they would not have survived my childhood uh, with manual labor because we make them go pick up rocks and pull weeds and they act like it's like the worst thing ever. <laughs> Adam's out there inspecting the job that they did. So anyway, we'll see. I said, you're lucky that you didn't have to paint a whole barn in 100 degree heat in the summer in Iowa or bale hay or many of the other things that I had to do outside <laughs> when I was a kid. So. Anyway, that's their job, is to pick up the rocks that go out from the landscaping into the yard and pull weeds, which is a pretty minimal task, honestly. And if they work at it, it probably takes them less than a half hour between the two of them, so, you know. But kids like to complain, that's how it goes. So, right now, I'm just getting some stuff organized for um, planning my videos. So, let me get some of that together and then I'll show you what I'm working on. So, it's now 12.30 and I am still working on this video so I um, finished my thumbnail and did all of my um, photo editing for the video and stuff and I still have to do the voiceover but that took me a couple hours and then I'm also working on um, our meal plan for this week I'm also planning this video that's due next week it's a no cook uh, meals video so I kind of researched some recipes and printed them off so I can get the stuff that I need at the store. Um, I was working on my planner, listening to some um, classes online and kind of just working on YouTube stuff today. So Adam actually took Connor to the driving range. Um, they've just been like hitting practice balls and stuff out in the yard, but Connor's been wanting to go to the real golf course and Adam's like, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna take him for like a whole, you know, nine or 18 holes or whatever, cause I don't know if he has the patience yet to 
<laughs> be there that long. Um, but he wanted to take him to the driving range. So that's where they're at now. Kira's here with me. I think she's playing Animal Crossing. Um, so I think I actually wanna go to the grocery store today. When I plan videos, it takes me a while to kind of like research what recipes I want to try and write my shopping list and and do all of that stuff that's kind of like the stuff behind the scenes that you guys don't see you guys just see like the video at the end and all the clips together and everything but I do really try to put a lot of work into it at, in, at the front end to kind of make it valuable for everyone um, and then to like editing my photos and making sure that I have like clear captions on the photos. I've been um, editing photos where I have a lot of experience editing photos for a long time. I got my first DSLR camera when Kira was probably two so it's been almost 10 years since I've um, started my kind of like photography journey and learning how to use Photoshop and all that so that's the part of YouTube that I like and enjoy is like designing thumbnails and editing my videos and stuff like that just because it gives me a chance to be creative so that's a part that it takes a while but I enjoy doing it and I like to have like shots in my um, like for example today I'm doing a what's for dinner video so like I like to have the clips uh, broken up with photos so that it's clear to the viewer like okay we were making this and here's the finished product but now this is what we're gonna make type of thing I don't know I always just think about that when I lay out a video and that's something that I've had to learn over time if you look back at some of my uh, first videos <laughs> they probably weren't laid out like that but that's the thing about YouTube right is you're just like learning in front of everyone and you get to be embarrassed in front of everyone <laughs> I was actually listening to something the other day about, um, I don't know, I listen to a lot of like self-help classes and podcasts and different things because YouTube is really like outside of my like training and expertise. Like the only thing that I'm really skilled at is maybe like the photography and the graphic design part, even though I'm not a graphic designer, but I have a little bit of experience with digital um, design, but like all of the other stuff like marketing and SEO and keywords and all that stuff, all that stuff is like outside my wheelhouse. And so I'm just constantly trying to like soak up all the content that I can, whether it's like on Skillshare or, you know, paying for classes online or listening to podcasts or whatever. So I just, I don't know, I'm constantly trying to improve <laughs> and hopefully that uh, comes through. But anyway, I was listening to something the other day. Sorry, I gotta sit, I gotta sit my arm down. I was listening to something the other day about um, people growing their channels and I get like, I get asked a lot, like how do you even start? What tools do you need? How do you get over feeling uncomfortable in front of the camera, et cetera? And, how do you you know grow your channel to x amount of subscribers and they were saying like it's good to start out small like it's good to start out small and build your way up to a larger audience because imagine if you started out with like this huge audience of 100,000 people and you were making these mistakes that you made originally <laughs> in your videos like how embarrassing it would be like it's embarrassing anyway because like if I go back and look at some of my older videos I'm like Yeesh. but imagine if you were making those mistakes in front of like a huge audience and like I still make mistakes obviously <laughs> <laughs> everyone does um, but anyway I just thought that was kind of like an interesting way to to look at it but yeah that's kind of just what I'm doing this morning is like planning out recipes um, I keep a, a book or like a little notebook with all of like my video ideas and recipes that I want to make and I'm so thankful that you guys like watching my videos because I love cooking and trying new recipes and it's really awesome that I get to do that and share that with everyone and um, then eat them but <laughs> uh, I want to probably get groceries today because tomorrow, tomorrow's the 4th of July and so I thought maybe we would just like sit and relax tomorrow and then I wouldn't have to go anywhere so I'm going to finish making my grocery list I'm gonna film the intro for this what's for dinner video um, and then I need to decide if I'm gonna do then I'll probably work on my voiceover before I go to the grocery store is probably what I'll do 
All right, so it is 2.30 and I decided to just go and get groceries now and get it out of the way. Um, Adam and Connor got home from the driving range and Connor had fun. They were both like sweating <laughs> really bad because it's like 90 degrees out today and super sunny. But um, before I was coming here, I'm actually at Aldi right now. I was texting my sister about trying to find ingredients and we were talking about miso paste and how stuff around here like that is so hard to find. Like I just looked on the Walmart app and it looks like they don't have it. I know Aldi doesn't have it. So my only option is Hy-Vee um, and maybe they'll have it. Although some of the Asian stuff, they are like not, like they have curry paste, um, but only like one kind and I don't know, it's just like, and I know people that live in other small towns get it. Like my friend Christine over at Frugal Fit Mom was saying it took her like three stores to find fennel one time. <laughs> so you guys that live in like large cities with like Whole Foods and Trader Joe's everywhere, you can just find anything that you want. And we're just stuck here in the middle of Iowa with no fennel, no miso paste. It's a rough life, man. All right, I'm gonna go get my groceries. Why is it that every time you go to the grocery store and they're like, did you find everything okay? And every time you say yes, yes, yes I sure did. Even though I didn't find everything okay. Because if you live in Iowa, you cannot have miso paste or watercress, I'm sorry. Those are the two things you cannot have. So I needed those two things for a recipe. Uh, the watercress, I'm okay with not having because I feel like I can, substitute spring mix for that or some kind of green but the miso paste is like a it's like a distinct flavor so I'm gonna have to google and see what I can substitute for that I wish I would have known that I was gonna make this recipe just because I just got an order from Thrive Market today and I should have ordered it I ordered some other things like sesame oil and stuff like that but anyway annoying all right I'm gonna go home and uh, film this grocery haul and then I'm probably gonna work on my voiceover for my what's for dinner video and then I'm gonna make dinner. So it's much later now and I found a substitute for miso paste. Get this. One cup canned refried beans, two tablespoons of honey, one and a half tablespoons of Vegemite or Marmite, one tablespoon of beer. Place all ingredients in a blender and blend at high speed for about two minutes. How about no? So that's supposed to be a substitute if you can't find miso paste. But it also says that you can substitute tahini, soy sauce, salt, or fish sauce. So that's probably what I'll be doing. Also, we had dinner. Adam actually made these uh, shake and bake pork chops, the honey bourbon shake and bake mix from Walmart. Uh, we didn't really care for it. It's very sweet. Connor's like, why does it taste like there is syrup on my pork chop? <laughs> because that's all you can taste is like the sweetness and it doesn't really taste like honey. It kind of tastes like maple syrup. But anyway, I don't know. I would not recommend this. I don't even know if I'll use the other bag that's in here. So we just had that. We have pork chops and uh, a good old box of mac and cheese and some corn. Yay, it's 8.15 and I'm done with this. So I'm gonna export this video. I'm gonna upload it to YouTube. I think I'm gonna go eat some ice cream. Okay, so Kira's not in her room for once. She's downstairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash her sheets because um, I didn't do that last weekend. Look at her laptop. She loves the office. I think it's so cute. So if you guys come across this scent of the Downy Unstoppables, this is the Bounce Outdoor Fresh. Definitely get it. It smells really, really good. Um, I also told you about the Old Spice one, which I'm out of right now. But I have, whoops, I have this Gain one that smells really good. And then this is like my third choice, which I got from uh, Costco.
All right, welcome back to the present. So uh, what I'm working on this morning is just kind of getting my to-do list set up. I had my list from last weekend that I didn't quite finish, so I kind of just transferred it to my planner. Um, I, let's see, I need to get a grocery haul posted today. That will be today's video. I did film that yesterday, so I just have to edit it. And then a lot of the stuff I transferred over from last weekend if you guys watched last week's weekend prep video i did not get everything done so i do need to scrub out our shower i need to take all of the stuff that i itemized to goodwill um, i do need to finish ordering my 100k giveaway stuff uh, i need to make some birthday cards help kira finish her thank yous we're probably about two-thirds three-quarters of the way done with that and then um, I need to itemize some receipts as well. And then I've been uh, writing in my planner every day what we're having for dinner. I do use the Carrie L uh, meal planner, but a lot of you guys message me about this and they do go in and out of stock, which I agree is a little bit frustrating. Uh, they do have planners, or I'm sorry, they do have printable meal plan sheets on their website um, I always have their website linked down below but I agree it's kind of frustrating that you can't always get them um, plum paper does have a meal planner that I want to try out so I'll find the link to that and link that down below as well I'm thinking about ordering one of those just to try it out just because I hate always recommending this one when it's not always in stock um, but yeah so I did my meal prep yesterday at grocery shopped uh, I was going to make donuts today, but I didn't get up in time. I printed this recipe off last night, so hopefully I can get those made tomorrow. And then I was looking at my bread cookbook. Uh, this one is from America's Test Kitchen. It is Bread Illustrated. I'll uh, link it down below. I love it. And Adam was like, I really want some homemade bread this weekend. So I found this recipe for easy sandwich bread. It calls for both bread flour and whole wheat flour. I was gonna make whole wheat bread, but a lot of the wheat bread recipes in here call for wheat germ, and I don't have any of that on hand. So I wanna make that instead. And then I also want to get some granola made this weekend as well, because I have some yogurt in the fridge and I've not been eating it because I don't have any granola. How stupid is that? <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's kind of what I have on tap for this weekend. Obviously, I need to do my normal things like get laundry done, um, do dishes, that kind of thing. Uh, I think what I'm going to do right now is finish my coffee and then I'm going to go inside and work on a huge mess of dishes I have to clean up from last night. By the way, that pralines and cream ice cream from Baskin Robbins is like spot on. <laughs> like if you buy that at your grocery store, get it. It's so good. So this is the brisket that I got from Hy-Vee. What is a flat? It's just a flat. Yep. It's a flat. I don't know what that means. Not so a the, point. So the brisk, so a regular full pack or brisket, like a full brisket, like what we normally do, has the flat on the bottom and the point on the top. Oh, okay. And this is just the flat. So it's just us and not having people over. Yeah. So is this how you normally do it? You just rub it with mustard and then a rub, like a dry rub? Yep. Yep, so just the yellow mustard is just used because it helps the stuff stick. It doesn't add any flavor. And this is what we're gonna use. We've never, or you've never used this on a, a brisket before, but we've used it on steak, and it's good. This is from Fresh Jacks. It's Sunrise Cowgirl Coffee Rub. And I've talked about their site before because I use a lot of their spices, so I always have a link down below if you wanna try it out. I think it's 10 or 15% off your first order. Um, but there's sugar in here, black pepper, cocoa, salt, uh, coffee, chipotle, cinnamon, and some other things. So then you're just going to rub it with this dry rub mm -hmm. and then you just put on the smoker? Yep. And this yeah. is the meter that I got Adam for Father's Day, which I think I talked about before, but it's a Bluetooth meat thermometer. So you just put it in the piece of meat and then there's a, what there's an app you download on your phone yep. and then um, it tells you when it's when it comes to temperature so it's gonna be delicious I think this one that I got was like around six pounds yeah, something or like six that. and a half pounds 
And then you just put on the smoker. How long do you think it's going to take? Probably six to eight hours. Okay. So it's like quarter to nine now. So it'll be at least five. Yeah. Yeah. And then it needs to rest for an yeah. hour or so after it comes off. And so we'll be in it for dinner. And you're going to smoke brats too. Yeah. Or sausage. Yeah, make smoked sausage for lunch. Oh, it's heavy. I thought you were just going to do the sausages for dinner. No, I'll do the sausage. I've heard do the sausage for lunch. Oh. I'll do the sausage for dinner too. I don't care. Okay. All right, so my robot vacuum is working. Uh, I think I talk about this every single weekend, but we like this cheaper off-brand Roomba for downstairs. Um, it does really good on the hardwood floors, so I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. And I need to take care of this massive pile of dishes, which I totally blew off for yesterday. <laughs> And the day before. I did, however, empty the dishwasher last night, so that'll make it easier to get loaded. My stove is also just a hot mess from this week, so I'm gonna get that cleaned up as well quick. got my stove shined up that's always one of the most satisfying things I can do <laughs> to clean my kitchen so uh, just to let you guys know because I do often get questions on what I use to clean my stove I use the crud cutter to degrease I use the range top e-cloth to scrub it I use Windex to shine it up and then for the stainless steel parts I use the Wyman stainless steel cleaner and microfiber cloth and then while I had that out I went ahead and um, cleaned the refrigerator and the microwave and the front of the dishwasher as well so I'll link all of those products down below but um, it's definitely harder to keep a gas stove clean uh, which I knew going into that because I have had both electric and gas stoves in our first house I had an electric stove then in our last house I had a gas stove uh, that wasn't quite this nice but I prefer cooking with gas and since I cook a lot I would rather have the gas stove and have it be a pain to clean um, just because I like cooking with it so much better although the newer stoves have gotten so much nicer and you're able to you know take the burners apart much easier than the old style ones so uh, that is done for now all right so it is a little afternoon I just got my grocery haul video finished editing and I'm going to export it now and I think while that's working I'm going to go upstairs and take a shower. 
All right, so I want to show you guys my outfit because I think it's cute. Uh, this shirt I actually ordered from Torrid online and I was afraid that I wasn't going to have a bra that fit with it just because of the way that the, um, you know, sleeveless top part of it is, but I actually have this bra from um, Lane Bryant that's more like a sports bra, but it actually fits under the shirt, which is nice. And I like how it's kind of flowy and it looks good with leggings. So these leggings are from Torrid also. If I can find both of these things online, I'll link them down below. Sometimes with Torrid, like after I order things, I can't find it <laughs> anymore on their site. Uh, and then these earrings, I honestly do not remember where I got these. I feel like, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know, so I apologize for that. But I thought they went well with the blue top. So that's what I'm wearing today. And I love this shirt because it's super comfy and it's sleeveless, so it keeps me cool. It's actually going to be hot outside today. Okay, so for lunch, I got this roast beef at uh, Hy-Vee yesterday. So I just made like a grilled roast beef and Swiss sandwich with some um, horseradish. I got this at Hy-Vee also. Uh, this is for Adam and some pickles and some peaches and some pop chips. I'm not sure what I'm going to have yet. I decided just to have a cold roast beef sandwich. I didn't grill mine with Swiss cheese um, and pickles. And I got these chips yesterday at Aldi, the kettle chips, Cuban sandwich flavored. I really like them. Adam said they're not his favorite, but they had these and the Nashville hot chicken, which we didn't try those, but I think if they're there next weekend when I go, I'll grab those. But I like these. I think that they're really good. I think they taste pretty close to a Cuban. Um, the pickle flavor is a little bit strong, but otherwise I think they're good. So what I did was I took everything downstairs that I had packed up for Goodwill, put it in the back of my SUV. However, I called Goodwill and no one answered the phone, so I'm assuming they aren't open today since it's the 4th. So hopefully they'll be open tomorrow and I can take this stuff over there, but obviously getting it down to my vehicle is half the battle. Can I get an amen? It's about 3, through, no, it's 3.45. I think what I'm gonna do now is get some of my produce washed up from yesterday that I got at the grocery store. I need to cut up some of this watermelon and maybe make the fruit dip um, to go with the strawberries and blueberries. So this is the fruit dip that I'm trying. I don't know that I've ever made this kind before. I know I've made the kind with cream cheese and brown sugar for apples, uh, but I have one eight ounce package of cream cheese in here. Also, I have a container of uh, marshmallow cream. I just got this at Hy-Vee yesterday. And then I also put a little bit of vanilla in there, the zest and juice of one orange, and then I'm just gonna mix this up with my hand mixer. All right, so here it is. It's definitely uh, good. It's not too sweet, which is good. I was afraid it was gonna be too sweet. It's better than that normal one, the one that's like brownish tan. Oh, I just, the brown sugar one? Yeah, yeah. it's better than the brown sugar one. All right, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. So for dessert today, I was gonna make this strawberry pie with pretzel crust, but I just <laughs> read the recipe and it's supposed to be refrigerated for eight hours and obviously I don't have that long. Uh, so I'm going to do plan B, which is I'm going to use the strawberries that I cut up to top some pound cake. So I just threw some sugar in here with these strawberries that I already had cut up. And I'm going to let those sit in the fridge and kind of macerate. And then I'm going to make this pound cake mix that I got from Aldi several weeks back. I've never uh, made this from the Aldi brand before, but I don't know how it could be bad. So we'll just have this for dessert. 
with some of the strawberries and some whipped cream. is my pound cake. I put like a parchment paper sling so it would come out easier and I'll link these loaf pans down below. I really like them a lot. They're kind of long and narrow so it does cook a little bit quicker but I'm going to put this in the oven at 325 for about an hour. Um, I'm going to watch it though because these loaf pans being that they are a little bit more narrow sometimes tend to cook a little bit quicker. I need to clean my oven too. can't take full credit for this because I saw Fallon over at Moss Family TV do it, but I just cut half the watermelon into slices and I used a star cookie cutter to cut some of them out and then a smaller, I guess this is kind of like a flower star cookie cutter to cut some of them out. And then I have a red, white, and blue themed um, Ray Dunn platter that I got several years ago um, for 4th of July. So I just put it on that and I just think it makes a really pretty display for the fruit. Um, and then on, these were the grapes also that I washed up. So those will be mostly for this week. I'm sure we'll eat some today also. And then I also washed up the peaches I bought yesterday. So um, you probably already know this if you've watched my videos, but I do wash my all my produce in my salad spinner and I use vinegar um, with cold water. So these will go into the fruit bowl for us to eat this week. Oh, that one fell on the floor. I'm just gonna kind of go ahead and wash a lot of my produce for the week. So I um, am washing this kale because I'm going to make Zupa Toscana this week, which is that Olive Garden soup with kale and sausage. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and spin this dry. You can see how dirty the water gets, yep. And then I'm also gonna cut up some potatoes to roast on the side of our brisket. So here's my potatoes. I used salt, olive, or actually not olive oil. I used avocado oil, salt, and some Fresh Jack's uh, garlic herb seasoning. So I think what I'm going to do is the pound cake has, it looks like 24 minutes left. And even though I don't want to cook the potatoes at 325, I think I'm going to go ahead and put them in there just so they can get a start and then I'll turn it up after the cake is done. All right, so I'll give you an update. Uh, it is almost six o'clock and the brisket is resting. Um, I just made some corn muffins, so just with corn muffin mix, and I put some canned corn in there and I'm gonna make some honey butter to serve those with. And the pound cake is done. That came out of the oven, so I just have it cooling here. It smells so good. And then I did go ahead and turn the oven up to 425, um, which is what these corn muffins will bake at for about 15 minutes. And then I also made this watermelon salsa for a cooking video that I'm working on filming. 
Uh, so you'll see that the process of this in that video, but this is just a pioneer woman recipe So I've never made watermelon salsa before I've made mango salsa um, But I did have to add extra lime juice to it and some honey and some salt I think it just depends on how sweet your watermelon is and this watermelon is not super sweet But I did have it some with some tortilla chips and it is good. The potatoes are done. I think I'm gonna stick these back in the oven. The oven's off, but just so they can stay warm. And then the, uh, what do you call these? Corn muffins are done. And I mixed together some butter and some honey and I melted the butter a little bit too much, but that's fine. I just put some honey in there. So I'm just gonna brush these hot corn muffins with the honey butter and oh my god these are gonna be so good brisket turned out really really good so I'm just having that with some potato wedges because I already ate a corn muffin <laughs> okay, so it is currently almost 11 and I'm up here in my office um, helping Kira work on some more of her thank you notes from her birthday for you guys so please sit tight <laughs> if you haven't got one yet and I'm super sorry for the delay um, so what I've been doing to help her is going through the um, cards and letters and stuff and then I have been writing the address for her on the envelope and then um, I give her the card and then she fills out the inside um, and then I've been writing a note on the inside too and then she gives it back to me and then I put while well, she's helping me put the stamps and the return address labels on and then we're sending them out so anyway we have a process <laughs> to go through but I'm glad that I'm working on it slowly and getting it done um, I did also give Connor bath and yeah, so I wanted to update you on dinner. So the brisket that Adam smoked was really, really good. I was, I always am more and more impressed every time he smokes something because he gets better and better at it. So that was good. It was like fall apart tender. And then I made the potato wedges, which were good. The corn muffins were also really good. I didn't really do anything special. I just used the Jiffy mix and then I mixed in some canned corn that I had left over and a little bit of sugar in the batter and then I made that honey butter and put those over the top and they were delicious and then we had what else did we have oh the watermelon salsa I think um I I really liked it Adam and I both really liked it and the kids don't really eat that kind of stuff I mean Connor will eat chips and salsa but not that kind of salsa um I think it would be better if I had a sweeter watermelon so i did add some honey to it um sorry my face is dark i did add some honey to it just because it the watermelon i got wasn't that sweet um and then we had the fruit and the fruit dip was really good so i'll type that out in the description box below it was marshmallow cream cream cheese vanilla extract orange juice and orange zest and that was it and the kids really liked it it was really good dipped with apples and blueberries and grapes um I feel like I'm missing something, but I can't remember. Oh, I made the pound cake too, and that turned out good. And we had that with strawberries and whipped cream. Um, and instead of the pound cake, Connor wanted s'mores, which I had bought the red, white, and blue cookies and cream um, Hershey bars. And we just made s'mores in the microwave because <laughs> we don't have a fire pit or anything. And uh, it worked out just fine. So that was good. Lots of good food and it's almost time for bed and we were lucky enough to have a fireworks show just by sitting on our front porch.
because uh, our neighbors like way across the way buy a ton of fireworks. Our town actually canceled the fireworks this year anyway because of COVID. So it was nice to just sit out there and get a fireworks show. <laughs> and uh, we watched Hamilton. Uh, that was good. Kira and I actually went to see Hamilton in Chicago uh, in December. That was one of her Christmas presents was tickets to Hamilton. And so her and I went, I think it was like the last week in December. Um, and I think actually in January they stopped showing in Chicago. So we got in like right before um, they shut that production down, but she has been obsessed with the soundtrack for a long time and loves the musical and loves seeing it in person and of course loves seeing it on Disney Plus again. Um, and Adam hadn't ever seen it before, so he, he enjoyed it too. He's like a huge history buff and so, you know, he kind of geeks out about that kind of stuff and was like, you know, giving me all kinds of history education throughout. So <laughs> anyway, um, one of the things that's been irritating me, not irritating me, but just like it's hard for me to adjust to um, during this whole pandemic has been I have been staying up later and sleeping in later and I don't like that. I'm normally a person who goes to bed earlier and I like to get up earlier. I'm like inherently a morning person, but not having to commute um, some mornings and then not having like sports activities on the weekends like before you know Connor would have had spring soccer and all this stuff and so we would have to be at the soccer field even at 8 a.m. on a Saturday and just you know stuff like that and so with everything canceled and me working from home part of the time I feel like my day has shifted for to like stay up later and sleep in later and it's not necessarily that I'm not as productive it's just that I don't enjoy it as much like I enjoy getting up early um, and obviously I still have to get up plenty early when I go to work but like if I'm only going to work two days a week I don't know it's just I feel like my schedule is messed up and it's like irritating me does anyone else feel that way <laughs> or am I the only one so uh, anyway I think I'm gonna go to bed soon but I'm gonna work on this a little bit longer have Kira fill some more of these out and then I will see you in the morning and we'll see what else we can check off the old to-do list. All right, good morning. It is Sunday morning. What time is it? It's almost nine o'clock and I'm making donuts. I'm actually gonna make half vanilla, half chocolate donuts because Connor wants chocolate. So this is the recipe I'm using for the vanilla donuts, which is from easiestapplepie.com. I'll link it down below, but here is the batter. Um, I am using this vanilla bean paste that I got from uh, Amazon. I I like it. I think that it does a good job and it's fairly inexpensive. I use it when I want to make um, like vanilla things that need like a strong vanilla flavor or where vanilla is like the primary flavor. So anyway, this is the batter. It has flour, sugar, baking powder, salt, melted butter, egg, milk, and then the vanilla bean paste. So I'm just going to mix this up and then put it in a Ziploc bag, cut the corner off. And then these are the donut pans that I have. Um, I'll link some similar ones down below. I actually think I got these at Goodwill, but I just use a Ziploc bag and pipe it in there. This is the recipe I'm using for the chocolate donuts and I'm cutting it in half because I think it's supposed to make 12 and I only want six. This is from biggerbolderbaking.com. So I am going to sift the flour with the cocoa powder in this one just because cocoa powder tends to be lumpy. Um, so I'm just doing it in a fine mesh sieve. And then the wet ingredients for this one are, I believe you can use sour cream uh, or buttermilk or yogurt. And I think I have some um, buttermilk, or not buttermilk, I think I have some yogurt in the fridge so that's what I'm going to use. And I'm just using the same bowl that I used for the vanilla ones.
right, so here's how the donuts turned out. The chocolate ones are glazed with um, chocolate, and then the vanilla ones have vanilla. I tried both, and I actually like the vanilla a lot better, um, but they're both good. I am making some coffee. I'm going to go upstairs and do some laundry. Well, fold some laundry, rather, which is the main thing I need to accomplish. So I'm gonna work on uh, scrubbing out my shower. And I talked about this tool last weekend that is from OXO that I got from uh, Amazon. And it's like a shower scrubber and I love it. Uh, Cause we have a really big tile shower and it's super hard <laughs> to clean. Like you have to, it's not hard, but it's just like a lot of work to get down on your hands and knees and stuff. So this one, I think I ordered this one together with like the handle. And then it also comes with this brush attachment that you can order. So I think what I'm gonna do is start with this for the walls of the shower. Um, and then I think I'm gonna try to use this for the floor since it's a little bit scrubbier. So finished cleaning the shower. I'm actually gonna take a shower right now, so I'll make sure that the rest of this comet gets um, washed down the drain, but that's much better. And then I also cleaned the glass door. Sometimes I get questions on what the best glass cleaner is for shower doors, and I actually like Rain-X. You can get it in the automotive section at Walmart, and I like it because it repels water, so it does help with um, the streaks and the soap scum and stuff. And then I used some more Comet to scrub. So I guess what I would say is I haven't used this one yet before today. And I haven't used these with that OXO handle to clean my shower, but I do like this one better. I like the scrubber, um, but the way that it, it's held on the handle makes it a little bit hard to control. This one's easier to control, but then this one does a better job kind of scrubbing the grout and the tile. So I don't know, I mean, I like both of them, but just if you just wanna get one and maybe if you're not scrubbing tile, if you're just scrubbing like a regular tub, then I would go um, with this one. But like I said, I'll link both of them down below. I think that it's life changing in terms of scrubbing out a tub and shower, which is one of the jobs that I totally hate. All right, so I just got out of the shower and let's review the old to-do list. I did add a few things to here. So I made donuts. Uh, 
I want to make granola. I don't know if I'm going to get bread made today. We'll see. I was going to put some of my closet items on Poshmark, but I don't, I don't know if I'm going to have time to do that today or not. I do need to work on this video, working on the thank yous. I need to get that stuff ordered. Um, so I cleaned my shower. I got the stuff in my car for Goodwill. I need to take it there. Order giveaway stuff. Birthday cards, finished thank yous, receipts. Connor haircut. We're going to go do that right now, actually. Four. Before hair, what? after shot. Hi. You like your haircut? Yeah, Murphy. Murphy wants attention. Murphy does want attention. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. Murphy. Mm -hmm. All right, so we just got home from haircuts. Two o'clock now. I have a bunch of dishes that I need to do, and then I'm gonna get started on some cooking and filming for the day. So I'm finally gonna make some granola. I've had this on my list to do for weeks. And this is the recipe that I use. It's Cook's uh, Illustrated recipe for granola. And I do modify it a little bit depending on like what I want in it. I usually don't put dried fruit in it because I just like nuts in mine, but you can if you want to. I'll type this recipe out in the description box below. But I would also recommend this cookbook. Um, if you need just like a really good basic cookbook this one is great because it just it has a lot of like basic recipes in it and every recipe has a picture I don't know I refer to it a lot so I'll link this cookbook down below as well but you've probably seen me make this granola on my channel before so in my bowl I just have some brown sugar and salt I'm gonna whisk in some maple syrup some vegetable oil some vanilla extract um, five cups of oats. I have a couple different ones open here. And then uh, just two cups of nuts. So whatever kind of nuts that you want. I have like a bunch of different little packages in my pantry that I need to use up. So I have some cashews, sunflower seeds, almonds. I'm going to use some pecans. Um, so I'm going to whisk up all the wet ingredients first and then stir the dry ingredients in. And I have a parchment paper lined baking tray here that I will bake it on. Okay, so this is ready to go in the oven. You saw me packing down the granola with this spatula. That is one of the keys to making this really good and crunchy. When you pack it down, it sort of all bakes into like a chunk. And then when you break it apart to store it, then you get those really like crunchy clusters of granola. It's delicious. So I forgot to also mention that I do have some unsweetened flaked coconut I put this in there last time I made it and it was really delicious. I probably just put in about half of a cup. Um, and then I put all those mixed nuts in there. I put some pecans in there. If you're going to put chocolate chips in, obviously you want to wait until it cools and then add the chocolate chips. And also if you're going to put dried fruit, you want to wait until 
the um, mixture cools and then mix the dried fruit in it. But I'm gonna put this in the oven. It bakes at 325 for about 40 minutes. If you have a convection uh, setting on your oven, make sure you use that because it will help the granola get crispier and dry out. If you don't, it's not a big deal, but if you do have one, just keep that in mind. So next, I'm gonna try this easy sandwich bread recipe in this cookbook that I was telling you guys about. So um, I'll type this out in the description box below as well. Uh, so in the bowl of my stand mixer, I have two cups of flour, uh, six tablespoons of whole wheat flour, and some yeast, active dry yeast. I'm just stirring that together. This actually, this recipe calls to mix it with the paddle attachment and not the dough hook, so that's interesting. It's also a quicker rise recipe, so we'll see. And I also forgot to mention that it does call for bread flour. So keep in mind when you're buying flours for bread that they're not all the same. Um, there's self-rising flour, which has like leavening agents added to it. There's all-purpose flour, there's whole wheat flour, there's bread flour, and they're all different. So just make sure that if you're using them, um, you're, if you're trying to interchange them, that you just look it up on Google. Um, and sometimes you can even make your own. Like if you don't have self-rising flour, you can add leavening agents to it to make your own, etc. So just do your research on that. All right, so to this, I'm gonna add warm water, butter that I melted, and some honey. And I'm gonna mix this for four minutes. I think it says on low speed. So as I read this recipe a little bit more, I guess this is supposed to be more like a batter type dough instead of a dough that you like need. Um, so that's why it's quicker. So I don't know, I've never tried this before. We'll see how it turns out. So anyway, now I have to let this rest for 20 minutes or until it's doubled in size, tightly covered with plastic wrap. So I just have it here on top of the stove since I have the oven on, it's warm over here. All right, so I gotta get a shot of this knife for a video, so. Okay, so the granola is done. The key to this now is that you have to let it cool completely before you try um, and break it apart or it won't be as crispy. So I just have that on a, a baking rack cooling. And I think I'm gonna finish the next step of the bread now since this has doubled in size. I have my loaf pan greased here. This is um, one that my grandma gave me. You can see that it's very, very well loved. I just greased it with vegetable oil and a piece of paper towel. I have never made a bread dough with such a wet dough or batter like this, so I'll be interested to see how it turns out. So now I have to let it rise again, tightly covered with um, plastic wrap before I bake it. Okay, here's the completed bread. I brushed it with egg mixed with water and a little bit of salt, and I'm gonna put it in the oven and bake it. I have high hopes for this. So I just made this um, salad for a cooking video, which I'm actually eating for my lunch, which is a late lunch because it's, what time is it? Oh God, it's four. <laughs> I didn't realize it was so late, but is, um, zucchini noodles or like zucchini ribbons with a lemon basil vinaigrette and fresh corn and goat cheese it is so good it's like very fresh it's really good i'm trying to think you probably haven't seen this video yet but you'll be seeing it soon it's delicioso for my friend Christine, who likes goat cheese, aka goat log, you should make this. There's a fox in the backyard. 
<gasps> See him? Yeah! Wow! <laughs> it's going into the woods. <laughs> okay, so again, once again, my bread did not rise uh, like a domed top, like the beautiful picture. So if you know what I'm doing wrong, let me know. But be nice. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but I mean, I follow the recipe exactly, and it essentially said um, that I was on track. So I don't know. Maybe my oven temperature is off. That might be. I did not have it on convection. I had it on regular bake. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm sure it still tastes good. Okay, so I'm going to make BLTs for dinner. I was going to make something a little bit more involved, but... I don't feel like cooking all that. So um, I'm going to cook my bacon in the oven just so it doesn't mess up my stove top. Okay, so my granola is cool. And how I normally like to store this is just in a uh, mason jar in my pantry. So what I like to do is just kind of break it up into chunks. And then I have one of these um, wide mouth funnels that I can kind of put the granola in so it doesn't spill all over these are super cheap and you guys know I store like almost everything <laughs> in mason jars so I'll link this um, green one on Amazon below if you're interested I also use it to put like hot food into the kids thermoses for lunches and stuff like that so typically this makes two big mason jars um, this size I'm not sure I think this might be a quart size and it'll make two of these So I got the kitchen cleaned up. I'm in here, uh, up in the laundry room rather. I need to get some towels washed whenever I cook a lot in the kitchen, which I did today because I was filming a video. Um, I always have a ton of kitchen towels to wash and then we had just other towels that I needed to wash too. So I need to make sure that I wash these on like hot because there's a lot of dirty and towels in there. I'll just do sanitize and it'll do hot. All right, so update on the old to-do list. I think I'm actually going to go downstairs right now and work on some things on the computer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cross off the Goodwill thing because I did get that stuff in my vehicle. Uh, I forgot to take it there when I took Connor to get his hair cut earlier, but that's fine. I can do it tomorrow after work. Um, this is what I'm going to work on now is ordering the giveaway stuff. I need to do the cards later tonight. Um, work on more thank yous and then the receipts later tonight. But I did get the granola made. I made the bread. I got this video done. So I'm excited about what I got done today. All right, so it's about 10.30 and I am in bed now. I just got the kids in bed, well, a little bit ago. And I, did, I don't know if I mentioned I did wash my sheets today. Um, which is always nice to get into a bed with um, clean sheets, but I was able to accomplish a lot of my to-do list this weekend. I pretty much worked on everything, even if I didn't fin totally um, finish 100% all the tasks. At least I worked 
made some, pro sorry, Murphy wants me to take his collar off. Um, I did make some progress on everything on my to-do list, which was nice. So um, I need to, I'll probably get up early tomorrow and I need to work on what I'm going to be um, posting for videos this week. I do have to work tomorrow, so I'll have to do that before work. Um, but make sure that you're following me on Instagram it's just Jen Chapin over there because I have been posting my weekly upload schedule. So every Sunday or Monday, I'll post a list of what videos I'll be um, publishing in the coming week. And I've also created a playlist with all of my videos that I published in June. Uh, if you miss any of those, so that will be on the screen right here for you to click on as well as my most recent video that's been uploaded. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got some motivation out of this. Let me know in the comments below what you got done this weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.